what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber, and this subscriber sent the donation. So thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So this one says, hey, Mr. Locario, got a quick question about my situation I went through. I asked a girl on a date on Monday because I'd never been to a painting class before, but she has. I told her we should go together. On Friday night, she said, cool. She showed me an image of the prices slash paintings uh, for the night of the of the painting class. Uh, come Thursday, I asked, are we still on for Friday? And she said, yes. Then asked her, is she cool with paying half um, and half? If not cool, if so, great. She said, just cancel the date. I said, cool, uh, and gave her my number and said, hit me up. If you want to hang out another time and she texted back, I don't want to hang out. Uh, my question is, is there anything I could have done differently? And then he also says that and to note the price for the painting is thirty five dollars per person. OK. All right. So. The question of should you let this chick pay half and you're saying, you know, could you have done anything differently now? This is the thing, you know. You didn't really do anything wrong. It's just that this chick, she wasn't really feeling you like that. You understand? Or she was feeling you and you telling her to pay half maybe turned her off. Right? Um, but see, either way, it's really more so she wasn't feeling you, I, I, I would say. You understand? Because if she was really, really feeling you, she would have just came through to the date and paid uh, half of the shit and made the shit happen. You understand? Now, you know, there are some reasons why girls will act this way when you tell them, hey, you should pay for half. And, you know, one of the reasons is, is that they think, um, you know, that it's the man's job to pay. Right. So they'll they'll, you know, feel a certain way about it. They'll look at you funny like what, what the fuck? It's a man's job to pay. Right. Then. uh. Another reason is that they think that if you, you know, don't pay for everything um, or if you're like sort of cheap or whatever it is, they think that you don't really like them enough. You understand? So they think that they equate their worth to you paying or how much you're going to pay for shit. You see what I'm saying? Or, you know, they have the philosophy and not even just uh, women, but some men have this philosophy of whoever asked should pay. Which I always say is bullshit because um, if you, you know, men are the ones who ask 90 something percent of the time. So you're basically saying the man should always pay because if you're saying whoever acts should pay, you're basically just saying men should pay. You understand? So it's it's complete nonsense. Right now, the thing is this, you know, I say that you should. You should get a woman uh, to pay for half on, you know, a lot of these dates you go on. Right. And the reason why I say this is because when you get a chick to pay half or 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 even let's say she don't even pay half, but let's say she puts in something, you understand? She puts in some type of money, you know, it gets her to invest because, see, this is the thing. When you go on dates with these girls. Right. And you're you're the one like putting all the money out and all this other shit. Right. She basically has nothing to lose. You understand? So she's going along for the ride. She's just, you know, there. And if she's like, oh, well, you know, um, whatever, I don't really like this guy. It's no, you know, it's no skin off her back. She's just like, whatever, I'm just going to not call him or whatever. Like she didn't lose anything. You see what I'm saying? But see, if it's a situation where you tell her to put in some money, right, then she's feel, she feels like she's invested. Even if she's not even thinking about it at the time, on a subconscious level, she knows she put something in. You see what I'm saying? So it's it's not that you because the thing is, is that if she uh sort of like deals with you on some whatever type of shit, right? Her sort of investing, you understand, in that way it feels like she lost something. So it's not she's not gonna be all willy nilly about the situation she's dealing with you because she actually put something in. You understand? Now the thing that I suggest you guys do is you could do things like, you know, that will lend itself to her 
you know, being able to pay for something too. So let's say if you go to get a drink, you say, hey, look, I'm going to get the first round, you get the second round. Or if you go to the movies, I get the tickets, you get the popcorn. You feel what I'm saying? Let her put in some shit. It's, it's, it's okay, guys. It's, you don't have to fucking pay for all of this shit. You understand? And see, the thing is, you know, you're going to have those women who are on some old fashioned shit that feels like, oh, the guy should pay and, you know, they don't want to, you know, um, have to pay for anything or they're just going to get turned off by that or whatever. But again, like I said earlier, is that, you know, if a chick is really, 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 really feeling you, she's not going to give a fuck. She's going to put that money up, pay and, and, and smile doing it. You understand? It's like the thing is, you got to understand something. This is why I always want to stress when you, you, you know, you have to understand if a woman is really feeling you is that when people really want something. Like when they really want something, they're like, you know, they'll do whatever it takes to get it. So even if she doesn't want to pay, she'll still do it because she wants you that bad. It's like, you know, like when you see people lined up um, camping out in front of a store because fucking the sneakers are about to be released or some shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like that type of thing where they want it so bad that they're like, fuck it. You understand? So the best case scenario is when you're with a girl like that. So if you do tell her to pay and she's cool with it, then, you know, that's, that's great. Some women sometimes, right, they don't mind paying. So they'll just pay, you know, they'll just be like, whatever, you know. So you say, you know, I'll get the first round, get the second round, and they're cool with that. You know, sometimes they just automatically do it. It's not a big deal. Now, there are some times where a chick, and you have to watch out for this. There are some times where a chick will volunteer to just pay for shit because she's not feeling the date. But usually that's followed up with her sort of trying to leave the date quickly or trying to end the date as soon as possible. So if you so if you see that happen where a girl puts in some money and she's like, oh, you know, I feel like I got to go because something came up and I got to get up for uh, work early and yada, yada, yada. And she's like, oh, no, I got it. Don't worry. But, you know, that usually sometimes girls would do that because. Since they're not feeling you, and since they're probably never going to see you again, they know they're not going to want to see you again. They'll just they they just is on some. Oh, I'll just pay for this because whatever. I'm not really feeling this guy because they still also had the thought process of if they're feeling you, they still want you to pay and to you know do all that other shit, right? But you know, uh, for the dude that sent this email, you know, you didn't do anything wrong. You just found out that this chick isn't feeling you like that because if she was she would have came through she would have been like okay cool yeah let's you know i can make that happen whatever because she would actually she actually wants to see you she would actually be excited to see you and come through and and make it happen and then it would have been what it would have been but if she's on some oh well cancel the date and then you're like oh well let's hang out again another oh well don't i don't want to hang out is this like okay well then whatever you see what i mean you got to just keep that shit pushing don't be scared to do this a lot of guys are scared to do this they're scared like oh if i say this, this is going to scare the girl away and if it does good good actually because all it's doing is showing you the type of chick you're dealing with you are not obligated to pay for a chick in fact when, when, when it comes to dating you're the one who's supposed to be the one orchestrating the situation of the date anyway. So you can orchestrate dates that you don't have to, you don't have to fucking pay for anything. You understand? Be like, look, we're going to meet up. We're going to go for a walk in the park. You understand? Or if you want to do something real cheap, listen, there's this pizza store, uh, you know, at the corner of main street and fifth, meet me over there. We're going to get a slice. You understand? So, you know, if, if it's, you know, if it's a thing with, you know, uh, money or whatever, and you're trying to make sure you're not breaking your pockets and all of that, you are the one who's supposed to control that. Now, if she is feeling you, you understand, she's going to come through. In fact, I say the cheaper the date, the better. Because the cheaper the date, then, you know, you don't even have to deal with the, the, the money issue too much. You see what I'm saying? And then, you know, if you guys are splitting it or whatever, it's not 
a big thing for any of you guys to split and y'all just focus more on each other and make that shit happen. You see what I mean? But, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, don't be scared to tell these girls to put in half. You feel what I'm saying? Or to put in something. Get her ass to invest. And if she has an issue with all that shit, you understand? Basically, you know, kick that chick to the curb. Because she's not really feeling you like that anyway. You feel what I'm saying? And another thing, too, you know, when you are, when you tell this chick to put in half, let's say you meet her on a date and you say, hey, you know, I get the first round, you get the second round, or I get the tickets, you get the popcorn. You got to look at her, <laughs> look at her face and see if she has a, a, a negative reaction to you telling her to put in some money. You understand? And that'll tell you all you need to know about this chick you're dealing with. Now, before you turn off this video, make sure you click the link below to get the Mr. Locario 30 minute game session. Now, this is a private one-on-one -on -one coaching session between me and you where we chop up game for a half an hour. So make sure you click that link below to get the Mr. Locario 30 minute game session. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com